Hello, my name is Victor Grunwald and I'm a medical oncologist in the University Hospital in Essen, Germany. So at this um, meeting in ESCO 2024, what we did for um, as a further analysis is really looking into subgroups of the CLEAR study, which investigated lenvetinib and pembrolizumab and compared it to sunitinib in first-line treatment of kidney cancer patients. So today we really focused on um, the patterns of progression. Um, that having said is, uh, uh, we looked into um, the um, organ sites where metastasis uh, were and uh, we investigated um, the progression for these specific sites. So um, looking into time to progression by different organ sites such as brain, bone, lung, uh, liver, or lymph node, for instance. And what we observed was really that um, the, uh, the benefit of the combination of lenvetinib and pembrolizumab was maintained over sunitinib, and, and that reconfirmed, um, I think, the, the usability or the position of lenvetinib and pembrolizumab as a first-line option in, uh, in kidney cancer patients. The second part of our analysis really focused on uh, the b benefit that you will uh, you, that a patient may have uh, from um, the immune combination, so uh, with lenvetinib and pembrolizumab, because the treatment or, or the median progression-free survival time is two years uh, for that specific combination, but patients live um, 50 to 55 months uh, in, in median. So how does it really end up contributing um, this short period um, of exposure? Uh, to the overall survival time. And I think that for that purpose, we looked into how the tumor burden really uh, behaved over time. So starting off with the baseline tumor burden and um, how it uh, has been at the time of progression. And what we found is really that for, for the combination, you do see a larger tumor shrinkage, which is um, not a surprise. Uh, but at the time of progression, patients in the combination arm uh, with lenvetinib and pembrolizumab um, had a decrease by 48% of their ori original tumor burden, and it was um, higher than with sunitinib alone, um, because for, the, for those patients, the decrease was like 17%. So I think, um, I mean, these um, observations really indicate that patients that get off ther therapy and go into second line with the combination seem to be in a better state. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.